Hi everyone, let's begin Wilcoxon sign T test or Wilcoxon sign rank test. This is the test when we want to check pair data. We have earlier when our data is normally distributed, then we are going to apply uh, pair t test but when our data is not normally distributed we are going to apply wilcoxon sign t test we want to check some pre and post analysis or uh, i mean we want to compare some same kind of because these are not two independent samples these are the one independent sample and test and retest i mean pre and post we want to check then we are going to apply wilcoxon sign t test so let me share one of the case study uh, through which i would like to explain you wilcoxon sign rank test the wilcoxon sign rank, rank test sometimes called wilcoxon t test is used when repeated measures are used in case of pair t test and when same participants perform under each level of independent variable we use wilcoxon sign rank test so here is i have got the data a showroom manager compares the laptop sales for the year in two parts he wants to compare the sales of first half and second half of the year he recorded the sales from 20 showrooms and saved their sales in rupees lakhs so here is you can see serial number i had mentioned total 20 sample size and sale one means uh, that is the first half year sales then to june and sale to july to december sale so here is we want to just check we want to compare whether there is any significant difference between these two this is the biannual data so there's the any significant difference so let me i had created this hypothesis the distribution of sales in rupees lakhs is the same across categories of the retail stores so we have to check this data uh, through R Studio through R. So let me clear all these things. I would start at fresh. I'm clearing all my windows. Yes, and I'm closing this file also. And uh, now you can see this is the R script. And now what we have to do, uh, let me open, let me import my file. My file is, I am going, I want to import my SPSS file. Let me browse it. And this is my SPSS file. And let me open this file. And I am going to open this file and uh, i'm i want to import this file let me press import and now you can see here here there is two columns sales jan to june and sales july to december so now you can see how many entries are here total number of entries are 20 and that is reflecting also here wilcoxon sign test and 20 observations of two variables so i am carrying only two variables but there is 20 observations are here so let me start first First of all, what, what I have to do, first of all, I would like to put this file in a variable. Let me create because again and again, I'm not going to use this is the uh, very lengthy name. So I'm just Will Coxon signed rank test. This is my file name. So I am I am putting this file in this variable. So let me enter. And now you can see this variable is created here, WIL and 20 observations of two variable. So what we have to do again and again, I'm not going to use dollar sign. So what I'm doing, I'm simply writing I'm, I'm I'm just I'm just putting up because I am carrying I'm, I'm having these two variables. This one is the sales gen to June, so I'm creating this the one variable first where I will put this data, and second uh, I have to put this data. So what I have to do first, let me and where this file the, the, this these variables are putting, I'm writing just w i l will this is my file name then i have to press dollar sign and sales gen to june because this is my first uh, year first half sale so i will press enter so now this variable is created here and now again i would like to create variable second and uh, when i'm writing second and now you can see simply this variable is putting where here is will write this is the file name and simply i will put dollar sign and the next half we have to put there 
So now you can see that both these variables are put it here, right? So what we have to do, you can see now, uh, simply we want to check whether our data is uh, sorry data is normally distributed or not so simply i would like to just check through box plot and uh, what i have to do i had already put it first because this is my data um, that is uh, january to june and then july to december is my second I had already created these variables. So I have to put this data and I would like to give them some color schemes also. So here is color scheme. I just want to give, <clears throat> let's say three and four. So I have to just press enter. So now you can see these are my two uh, box plots are available here. That is for one, that is for two. One means that is the first, right? The, when we are comparing this data, sales Jan to June and second is sales July to December. So what we have to do here is you can see this is the, I mean, this is the mean value and this shows what is the difference between both sort of this data so what we have to do now we want to check this data right we would like to apply wilcoxon sorry here is i just want to apply this data on this data we want to check i would like to apply wilcox test and what we have to do simply i have to write first and i have to write second because both these data and what i have to do let's say i am writing when data equal to uh, equal to i am just writing data or simply we have to use paired right paired when paired is equal to true true means true means yes this is the same sample and that is some kind of pre or post kind of test if you would like to write otherwise automatically what it would by default that would be false if you are writing false i will show you how you have to write if you would write false here so that means there is no pairing that means both these datas are two independent data first and second there is no pairing but when we are writing that is paired sorry paired is true so that means my data that that is same data where we want to check their difference significant whether they are there is a significant difference or not so wilcoxon sign track test with continuity corrections here is you can see v is 50.5 p value is 0.04369 so that means it shows in my case uh, my null hypothesis is rejected because my p-value is less than 0.05 and alternate hypothesis is accepted that means we can say in my data here is uh, in the first half and the second half these values are significantly different that means there is difference in the sale across the year so now what we have to do we want to check through median also because there is the i had uh, written one statement over there that was my through spss i had already shown and you can see here this is my through spss and the same results we have got through our also so here is you can see 0 0.043 and uh, when i had applied this the same data through sps that was 0 0.042 and we had rejected the null hypothesis but through median null hypothesis says the median difference between pairs of the observation is zero but uh, alternate hypothesis said the median difference between the pairs of the observation is not zero. So what we have to do simply, I would like to apply this median test also. We have to check median values also. So for this purpose, simply we need library. We need library and uh, that package PSY psych package, right? And uh, simply I have to press 
enter and uh, because i or i am already having right this particular package and uh, i have to use there is the one uh, one function describe if suppose you want to test individually then you have to use this describe and let's say one by one so i am just writing first and i would press enter so now this is the median value of the data that is gen to june right that is in my first half year values and now again i have to use this 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 describe and a second right in the second half of the year that means july to december i would like to check so what is the median value 62 so that means we can say null hypothesis is rejected because both the median values and simply what we have to do we can copy this these values and we can paste in our word document and here is we can compare both these values sorry uh i don't know let's see yeah now values are here simply i will i will paste these values so you can see here i said null hypothesis the median difference between the pairs of the observation is zero right but here is median values are not zero median values are not equal to each other right and here is 62 so that means our null hypothesis is we uh, we are failed to reject null uh, we, we we are we are rejecting null hypothesis and we are accepting alternate hypothesis and because median difference between the pairs of the observation is not zero right so that means median is not same so i'm sure through this also we can justify our uh, these values through these this test also so i'm sure this video would be helpful to you and where i'm sure you understand where we are going to use crystal wallace test and where we are going to use wilcoxon sign rank, rank test and where uh, where we are going to use man whitney test and this video would be helpful and i am going to providing you all the links in the description box and in fact my this spss file link also and please do practice thank you so much keep watching